It's first contact day! Yes, okay, so I'll probably put some like confetti cannons here, maybe some fireworks, um, whatever. Maybe a cheering crowd. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Later me who is editing that, put all that there. On April 5th and approximately 40 years from now, the Vulcans are going to come and visit Earth and make first contact with humans, which will eventually lead to an alliance of planets with the overall goal of galactic peace. And the one ship that was able to make all of that happen was the Starship Enterprise. And I thought, you know what, to celebrate First Contact Day, why don't we, for this episode of Timelines, go over to the whiteboard and list out every single Enterprise that has existed. So, we're going to do that and it's going to be fun. Alright, first a couple of rules. I know that the British and the French both had a ship that was called the Enterprise. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry specifically about the USS Enterprise. So, that's the thought. But if you're interested, I did a little bit of research on the British and French ships and it's actually kind of interesting. So, you should go ahead and check that out after you're done watching this video. Yeah. So, let's hop over to the whiteboard and get this thing going. Ladies and gentlemen, the whiteboard. So, let's go ahead and talk about the first USS Enterprise I was able to find, a United States Navy warship from 1775. I put it in red because it's a warship and that's the security color. You should be proud of how clever I am. Anyway, this ship only lasted a couple of years and it was eventually burned so that the British couldn't capture that ship. There was a second Enterprise at this time from 1776 and also ended in 77. This ship is actually pretty interesting because it started off as a pirate ship, which is super cool. And then it briefly served in the Revolutionary War and then it was retired in 77. Next was another warship from 1799 to 1823. And this Enterprise was pretty much built and then taken down and then rebuilt and taken down and rebuilt and taken down constantly throughout its existence. 1831 saw another ship. This one was also a security ship, but this one wasn't really looking into war so much as it was just patrolling the coast of South America. All right, now, 1874, we changed colors because this one wasn't a security ship. This was an exploration ship, a scientific vessel. In 1874, we had an Enterprise that was active till 1909, and its main purpose was to survey and to discover and learn things about the ocean and coastlines. So, first scientific ship, 1874. 1917 to 1919, there was a private motor boat that was uh, converted into a patrol boat. And that one is, it didn't really see much combat, but it was a navigation ship. Navigation is in yellow. Again, be impressed. Does that, does that even show up at all? Well, sort of. Eh, I should probably put it in orange instead, huh? Let's do that. Does that show up better? That shows up way better. Okay, so, sorry, Star Trek fans. Looks like navigation's in orange. 1938 to 1947, there was an aircraft carrier, and it was the most decorated ship of World War II. And of course that's a security color, so 1938. Now the Enterprise closest to us was an aircraft carrier built in 1961 and decommissioned in 2017. So lasted a good long time. So it was the first aircraft carrier uh, powered by nuclear power, which I think is really interesting. It's also the longest aircraft carrier ever made. Also, kind of as a fun aside, this boat also hosted a big Star Trek exhibit once, which is kind of cool. But I am arguing that since this was a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and the first one, I want to say it's a scientific ship mostly. So I'll put that in here. 1961. Now we're getting into some spaceships here. This will be fun. So in 1976, the initial test flight space shuttle 
was named the Enterprise, and that was definitely a scientific ship. So we'll throw that up on here. This ship's mission was basically to conduct various atmospheric tests and was kind of a precursor to the space shuttle program that we had up until recent years. 2014, NASA developed an advanced propulsion concept ship that was designed for warp field travel. So, the first conceptual warp engine, which is pretty cool. And that was in 2014, and they dubbed this one the Enterprise as well. 2028, we have another security ship this is a commissioned aircraft carrier and it's currently being drafted up. We don't have it yet, but 2028 is when we should. So I'll throw that up on here. New security ship, new aircraft carrier. Kind of excited about that one actually. All right, in the year 2123, we will have our first ship that's purpose was to explore a planet outside of our own solar system. And this one, rather than being warp powered, was nuclear powered. It's also the first ship that we see in relation to Star Trek. 2151, we have the Starship Enterprise NX-01. This was the first Enterprise whose primary mission was to explore strange new worlds, seek out new life and new civilizations, and to boldly go where no one has gone before. Ah, really cool. 2245, we have the probably the most famous one, this ship was, is probably best known for its five-year mission under the command of Captain Kirk. 2286, we have a new ship, though it really kind of wasn't a new ship, it was just a refit of the previous model. 2293, not much is known about this ship, except that Kirk ended up sacrificing his life to save this particular ship from complete destruction in the war corps. 2332 to 2344, there was another ship. This particular ship ended up being sacrificed, but that created an alliance between the humans and the Klingons, who have been in conflict almost the entire time they've known of each other. So that one isn't really a scientific ship, I would say. That one is a security ship. 2363 to 2371, we have another ship. This one was captained by Jean-Luc Picard that was destroyed in a warp breach. 2372, this ship was a rebuild and a replacement for the ship that was lost in 2371. 2372, and the final ship that we know of that we're pretty sure does exist is from the 2500s. We don't have an exact date, but in the 2500s, there was another Starship Enterprise Celestial class that all we really know is that humans were on it as well as Zindi. That's all we know. But I say that's enough to throw it up here on the timeline as a security ship since all we saw it do was fight in a war. So 2500s. And there you go. The history of the Starship Enterprise. So there you go. Every USS Enterprise ever. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of interesting things as I was just researching some of these ships, even the real life ones. And I think the important takeaway here is kind of what this ship has come to represent, or at least the name of the ship has come to represent. Representing a spirit of innovation, of discovery, exploration, understanding. I think that the mission of the Enterprise is pretty definitive of the human spirit. We want to meet people. We want to learn more. We want to make connections that are meaningful and will help better all involved. To reach out a hand of hospitality before hostility. And with that said, I want to know what your thoughts are. Tell me what your favorite Enterprise is and who's the better captain? Kirk or Picard? Or Archer? Hmm. Go ahead and leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And until next time, thank you for joining me. Have a great day. And remember to always be your best self.